Hi, everyone, and welcome to Stand With Us Connect. I'm Yoni, and today we're coming to you live from Israel with Stand With Us Connect, our brand new series of live shows and content. As you know, Stand With Us has been at the forefront of getting Israel education to people from all around the world in multiple languages for many years now. And even in these challenging times, we are committed to our mission and actually more determined than ever to continue educating about Israel and combating anti-Semitism. Now, in a moment, I'll introduce our guest presenter. But before, as I said, we're here on Stand With Us Connect, but we're also going live tonight from our Stand With Us Facebook page. And we'll be doing that with all of our live shows and sessions. If you like what you see here tonight and you want to hear more about Stand With Us Connect, you can read up on Stand With Us Connect and see our full schedule at www.standwithusconnect.com. Dot com. By the way, if you like what you see tonight, uh, if you like what you see on the schedule, and you think that this is something that your synagogue, church, family reunion, uh, high school reunion, whatever it might be, you think that there, you have people who will benefit from a private session, you can book a private seminar also at www.standwithusconnect.com. Now, before we get started, I hope by now you know that at Stand With Us, we're fueled by love. And it's a love for Israel and a love for all of you, our Stand With Us and Israel supporters. If the feelings are mutual, if you love what we're doing and you want to give us a push even further and help us with our mission, please go to www.standwithus.com slash donate and consider, consider supporting us with a contribution. Whatever you feel comfortable with giving, even a little goes a long way. Tonight, we have a very special program for you. Our program tonight, today, excuse me, I'm speaking from Jerusalem, but today, tonight, whatever time zone you're tuning in from, our program is Stand Strong with Stand With Us. And this is the moment that you've all been waiting for. This is your chance to learn Krav Maga with an expert, with Lior Ophir. Lior Ophir was born in Ramat Gan, Israel, and served for five years in the elite Naval Commando Unit, Chayetet Shloshisrei, or Flotilla 13, with roles including special operations, medic, and hand-to-hand -hand Krav Maga combat expert, which is why he's with us here tonight. After moving to Chicago and falling in love with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Lior worked his way to becoming a world champion. Today, he is the founder and executive director of a new not-for-profit organization called Stand Strong. Lior aims to empower the next generation through self-defense and by building their self-esteem. Now, Having said all of that, it is a great honor and privilege to turn this over to the expert and the master himself, Lior Ophir. Yoni, thank you very much. Shalom, everyone. Um, thank you, Stand With Us. Thank you, Yoni, for the introduction. So my name is Lior Ophir. I'm uh, 35 years old, uh, now originally from Israel, clearly, and now I live in, uh, in Chicago. Um, just a bit about my background, as, as Yoni mentioned, I served in the IEF for five years uh, in Shayete, Shayete Shloshisre, which is uh, the Israeli version for the Navy SEAL. Part of my roles, I was a sniper, I was a medic, and a Krav Maga expert. Uh, I served during Lebanon Second War, um, so you just can assume it was pretty, uh, pretty busy and pretty intense back then. Um, besides that, uh, my team and I, we were the first soldiers to enter Gaza Strip after the disengagement. Um, our goal was to stop a cell of terrorists from shooting rockets through Israel. So the matter of fact, in, in the area of Israel, we, history, we were the first soldiers that actually stopped live um, a terrorist from shooting this, those rockets through Israel and also um, from all the, all the engagement, we learn a lot of things from their operation and, you know, their routine and how, how they actually doing it, which helped a lot um, to the IDF and mainly to the Air Force to know how to, uh, how to stop, stop them before. Also, we were the first team uh, to enter the Gaza Strip after, if you remember, Gilad Shalit kidnapped. So, uh, so my team and I, we, our role was to clear the, the route for the, rest of, for the rest of the military, for the other soldiers, 
in tanks. We were always step ahead of everybody, and we make sure that the route is clear and nobody is, is, uh, is doing any hurt, any hurt for them. Um, if we have time, also you can send some, some messages. I can tell you a little bit more stories. Um, after my service, uh, I worked for the Minister of Defense for four years. I was part of a team that builds the security plans for the, uh, for the government facilities. Um, besides being a, a Krav Maga expert, also, uh, as Yoni mentioned, I, uh, I, I focus a lot on, on Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which is a, is a grappling martial art, so it's mainly on the floor, but the goal is, is to submit your partner. Um, so this is, this is what I'm doing also. I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a world champion. I won a few world championship titles in different places. Um, and in the last year or so, um, we established me and, and met you with in a second and a few more very important people and donors and great people. We established the Stand Strong. Uh, basically, our mission is to empower, empower you guys, the next generation, by teaching you self-esteem to build your self-confidence. Make sure you feel safe, you, you are safe, and you feel confident in, in, uh, in all your daily routines so nobody can hurt you. Um, our original plan was to send an IDF uh, Israelis guys to different locations, starting in, in the US, but not just. We had plans for Europe, we had plans for Australia and North America and South America. But now with all this situation, what we're focusing is on teaching those, those uh, principles, those, those uh, classes uh, via the webinar like we're going to do today. So what we're going to do today is, uh, is uh, it's kind of a demo. It's you're gonna you're gonna work out. You're gonna see some moves. I'm gonna teach you some moves. I'm not gonna go into too much details since we have a you know, short amount of time, and also we cover all those stuff in the courses, which we're going to explain a little bit afterwards. And also you're gonna share the links. You'll be able to uh, uh, to join us to those webinars and learn those skills. And the way I see it, um, for me, um, is we're trying to aim for two things. The first one, which is obvious, the obvious thing is teach you actually self-defense skills. So if somebody is trying to hurt you or pick a fight on the street or whatever, you will know how to defend yourself to get home safe. That's the first thing. The second thing is also because the, the, the Krav Maga was invaded by the IDF to give you this twist of, of the Israeli flavor of, you know, this roughness and, and, and this mentality of let's work hard, let's go, we can do it, we can stand up. We can stand strong. Um, so this is the two things uh, we'll do. I want to, before we start, okay, before we start, let's just pause for one second. I want you, because we're going to do some exercise. By the way, if you already have experience with martial art, regardless of the Krav Maga, obviously the Krav Maga, but regardless of the martial art, this is a great opportunity for you to do some, uh, uh, refine your skills and to do work out a little bit and, at home because we all, you know, this situation forces us to stay at home the whole day. And if you're completely beginner and that's your first time, that's great. I'm just going to give you a taste of how it feels like, things you're going to learn. You will see today it's very practical. And, uh, and also it's an uh, opportunity for you to spend some energy and get the, get the blood flowing. So I want you to have two things. First, it's just a regular, piece of paper, okay? If you don't have piece of paper in reach, because we're gonna do some uh, coordination moves with that and awareness, because it's all about Krav Maga. Um, so just bring this piece of paper or just a small towel or anything, a shirt that you can put on the floor, okay? So I'm just gonna place this one here on the floor. Second thing is, if you have bag, or even if you can bring your uh, a coat or something that you can ball it and grab it, just the cushioning thing, so you can play with it, and, um, and we're gonna use this too. I'm gonna show you a few cool moves today, okay? Um, so um, just before we start, my take of, on Krav Maga. Originally, Krav Maga was invented to, uh, to, give, um, to give solutions for self-defense. For me, Krav Maga, it's not a martial art, it's, it's a system, there are no rules, so you can do whatever works, it's good for you. It's all about being effective, uh, being practical and lethal. So for instance, if in a strong man is attacking an older and smaller lady and he's choking her, for instance, and she's poking him and he stops, 
this is the best result for Krav Maga. So it's not about beauty, it's about being effective and productive so you can overcome um, an uncomfortable um, situation. So this is one thing. Um, in general, martial art, we have three aspects. We have striking, we have on the ground, and we have in between. In the course, we're going to address the all three aspects, but for now, we're just gonna start, uh, focus on striking, just to keep it short and sweet, um, and, and, and get the blood flowing and, and move a little bit, okay? Um, just remember that everything I'm showing you today, the goal is, the, or, or Krav Maga goals, is counterattack. So I'm not teaching you how to fight, I'm teaching you how to defend yourself, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and we're gonna talk about afterwards about Stand Strong in our courses, but let's get, let's get going after you got those, uh, the paper and the, um, and, the, and the bag, okay? So let's quick warm up, just like two seconds, warm up the shoulders, other side, jab, elbows, we're gonna use those shoulders today and elbows, other side, good job. Okay, your wrist, good job, take it easy, slow, other side, and open your palm and close. Good, all right, relax. Shake your head a little bit. Okay guys, so in our classes, what we're doing, I have here a ball with wristbands. So every class, regardless of all the techniques that we're teaching you, and regardless of everything else that we're doing in the fitness, we're having a challenge. I like to have challenge every day to know that, you know, this is what I did today and it was a successful day. So our challenge for today, and we are going to complete it, is 20 lunges, 20 push-ups, and 20 squats, okay? So every time we do five, I throw, a wristband to uh, uh, outside of the of the uh, ball until it's completely empty. So just now, after we did a quick warm up, okay, so everybody five push-ups. Good job. All right, let's go. Take this uh, this piece of paper. Just put it in the center as I ask. Let's do ten squats. Five squats. Sorry, five. Five, nice, and now just five lunges, okay? Jumping lunges. I know it's hard, try to balance yourself, don't fall. Let's fight, good job. All right, let me throw. Three wristbands are out, good job. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you today is the stance, okay? I'm not going into much details because we're going to address it in the course, but if you don't have this, everything else you will do is not gonna be very nice, not very uh, pretty. And also, this is the base of your instinct. Every time somebody will push you, even when I will tell you, get ready to run, let's do a race, okay? So let's say you need to touch the wall in front of you as fast as possible. You're not gonna stand like this. If you're ready, if you're alert, you're always gonna do this. Like think about when you were at school and you had the race, okay? Get ready, set. So you see the people like this. So we're gonna take this natural instinct of being alert and we're gonna base our stance based on that. So put the piece of paper between your legs like me, okay? Shoulder level, just stay relaxed. What I'm going to do, if you are right, if you are right, I'm righty. So I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna take, I'm going to take into consideration I'm righty. If you're lefty, just reverse everything I say. So left leg in front, okay, other angle. So I'm here, left leg in front. Now if you notice, okay, I'm not doing this. This is also in front, but this is off balance. So keep this central line, the paper between you, okay, and just step here. Another thing I want you to do, I'm changing the angle, is bend your knees a little bit. Because I'm not, I don't want to lock the knees because then it's going to be hard and I don't have a good balance. So bend your knees a little bit, feel comfier. All right, good job. Go back. Let's do it two times. One, good. Not overdo, but not too small, okay? We wanna do this half step. Good, two, one more, three. Okay, now, the most important thing for us to protect is our face at all time. What we're gonna do now, keep your palms open. Okay, keep your palms open. We're gonna close it afterwards. I'm gonna teach you jab cross, but for now, just keep it open. Bring it close to your face, close to your chin. 
the elbows don't open too much nor close too much just relax you see shoulders relax my hands are close to my face so this is the stance everything i'm going to show you is going to start from this position so let's do it three times get the stand, get the normal stand here the even stand and one two other angle so you can see and three keep protecting your face okay so we learn the stance stay where you are okay what i want you to do let's do now five lunches in this position okay one two three four five nice job okay so five more down for the lunches okay now i'm going to show you what happened if somebody is standing in front of you and i'm going to tell you a story a real story i had in in, in a real scenario and now we're going to address it okay so let me call matt okay matt is a He's our direction, director of operation. He's going to help you with setting everything up. He's going to send you information for our courses. Every day we have a course, he's going to talk about it afterwards. And he's the magician behind everything. So let's say Matt has, uh, Matt has the noodle. So Matt grab the noodle, okay? So let's say Matt now is, is, uh, is bullying me, basically, okay? So the first thing I want to do is to get the stance, okay? If I will stand here and he will suddenly will shoot his body on me and he will push me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be thrown on the floor, okay? So the first thing I want to do is to get the position. Now guys, as I said, for me, Krav Maga and self-defense is not about fighting, it's protecting yourself. So there are a few schools, uh, schools uh, about, you know, if I want to be very aggressive or very not aggressive. I believe in the counter attack, meaning, if I don't need to escalate the situation, I'm not escalating the situation. I'm trying to calm him down because my goal is to get him safe, not to pick a fight in the street. But he's, he's, he chose me now for his, as his victim. Um, so what I'm going to do is just get the stand in front of him before I'm doing anything, okay? Um, just a true story that, that happened to me and it's going to relate to this uh, very quickly. Um, I left the office. I, uh, I just did a, t a shirt via an alley and I found a drunk guy, an homeless guy, that actually trying to, he didn't do it yet, but he tried to force himself or to be violent towards a lady. She wasn't tall, but she was small and he was a little bit bigger, okay? Um, now, of course, I obligate to help her. This is, you know, this is my mission also, you know, helping you guys, but in general, I cannot let anyone to get hurt, especially in the street, especially when I see it live. So basically what I did is, because I saw that I can still basically stop it, what I did is I came between the woman and this drunk guy and I stood bef before them and I made sure she is behind me. So in the beginning, he tried to circle from the side to reach to her. So I was just keep circling with her to make sure the first thing is to make her safe. That was my first goal. Then what happened is, He's, he's, he became angry on me, so he's, he started to uh, pick on me, he started to push me. So I told her, while I'm doing it, I told her, you're safe, leave, I will take care of it. And what I did is the first thing, and this is related to the stance that we learned, is instead of right away going and start to fight, because he was pretty big this guy, and I didn't want to do that, although I feel very comfortable, but I'm not expecting to you, from you to be an expert, but I do want to give you tools how to enter it. So basically what I did is this. I told him, calm down, calm down. I'm not looking for a fight, relax. Whatever you need, you need a bat, I'll give you a bat, just calm down. I'm not looking for a, a, a fight. Basically, instead of just doing this, relax, I had the stand already and my hands were close to my head. Even if I extended it a little bit, it's still always available for me. So in case he started to, whatever he did, which we're gonna do the duck under, I can always change my mode from relax, relax, relax. You see, I'm not trying to be violent at this point to boom, right away counter attack. So it could even, I, I still kept the element of surprise, but I didn't escalate the situation. This is what I believe in self-defense, because again, my goal when I left the office is not to pick a fight in the guy in the alley, okay? So I just wanna make sure she's safe and I'm safe. So what we're gonna learn now, I'm getting the sense and what Matt is going to do, it. by the way, we're keeping the distance with the COVID-19. Um, this is a five-feet noodle. Um, guys, it's not going to hurt me when he swings, but I want you to imagine like it is, like it's a baseball bat 
or his fist, okay? So if I get the stance and he swings at me and I'm not doing anything, it's gonna hurt my face. So I'm gonna show you the duck under, then we're gonna practice it a few times, okay? So swing, and then duck under, again. Yeah? Good. Now I want you to, to see what I'm not doing and tell me what you think, even tell yourself why, why you think is the mistake here, okay? You are my coaches right now. So basically, as you see, I saw the duck under, but I did two most popular mistakes. First, I overdo, okay? I don't need to lower my level so much. The only thing I need to make sure is I'm avoiding from getting hit. So if he swings at my head, small, duck under, and go back right away. The second thing is I bended my head, and then I didn't see my, my back, sorry. I didn't see what happened, okay? So thank you, Matt. What we're gonna do, everybody, get the stance. Get the stance nice and easy, okay? And we're going to do just lower your leg. Let's do it. One. Good. I'm gonna do a different angle so you can see. Two. Let's keep going. Three. This is a good lunge. Four. Five. Six. Let's keep going. Even if it hurts you a little bit. And stop. All right. I want you to build this muscle memory. So everybody get the squat position. Let's do five slow squats. Okay, five slow squats. This is important for Krav Maga. You want to have those legs strong. One, slow, two, three, four, five. Good job. One more is down. Everybody, five push-ups. Good job, guys. I told you we're gonna sweat today a little bit. So let's the go, okay? All right, so we did t uh, 10 of each. We're going to do the 10 of each afterwards. Now I'm gonna teach you another move, okay? Very important. This is pretty much the most important striking skills you need to have in your toolbox, okay? So let me call Matt again. What happened is, Matt is gonna swing again, okay? What do we learn? Do that under after I get the stance, obviously. So he swings and then I avoid from getting it. But if I will keep standing it, okay, if I will just keep standing it, he's gonna swing again. Okay, and again, and he's keep like practicing me and, and I don't wanna stay in this position. I know he already tried to attack me. So as I mentioned, Krav Maga, it's all about counter attack. So I'm avoiding from getting it and then I have to show him that it's not gonna work for him and he needs to back off, okay? So after I do the duck under, look what I'm going to do. Jab cross, okay, one more time so you can see it. Right away, the counter attack. So everybody, thank you, Matt. Everybody get the stands, okay, get the stands. And what we're going to do, I'm not going into much details, but I just want you to practice it. You see, we have the left leg in front if you're righty. So if you see the angle, because my left leg in front, my hips are a little bit more laying towards the left, and my left hand is forward, as opposed to my right shoulder. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just the left hand. Shoot. I do it in front of you. Shoot. And three. Now, if you see, I'm aiming exactly towards you. The, the fact that you can see, you cannot see my face, that means that I'm aiming right. If I aim to the side a little bit, or down, or up, it's gonna be, it's gonna look funny. So if I want to generate power, I'm just shooting towards you straight forward. Okay. And also. If you can see, I'm turning my hips a little bit if I want to generate a little bit more power, okay? I'm not gonna, about, gonna talk about all those um, details because we're going to address it in the course, just the basic uh, jab, okay? Now, after we did this few times, let's work on the cross. So this end, what I'm going to do is to throw the hand here. Now look at my foot and my hip. Again, just the right hand now, let's work on that a little bit. Good. Twist, bring this power. So left, right, left, Right, let's keep going. Left, right, a little bit more, a little bit more. Good job, let's get the blood flowing. Just for 20 seconds, I want you to start. Get the stance, but tap with your legs, like you small running in, in, the, in your place, okay? Just run, 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 keep protecting your face. After you get the rhythm, let's start to do jab cross, but slow. Even if you don't have to be in good shape, just slow. And let's go. Just relax, left, right, left, right. Keep going, good job. Good. Good. Five more seconds. Keep going. 
going. No, it's hard. And time. All right. Good job, guys. Okay. Um, let's let's uh, let's talk about the last thing now, and then we're gonna do a fun combination. Okay. By the way, if you notice, I know it's a quick demo, but since we it's a webinar and we're all at home, what we are trying to do is to integrate a bit fitness and workout because in the real life scenario. If I'm in the street or wherever I am, and you know, I protest or BDS and somebody's trying to attack me, it's not gonna be very comfortable. So the fact that you're breathing, maybe sweating a little bit, maybe feel a little sore, this is good because this is how you're actually gonna feel in the real life, and that's why we want to bring this feedback to you already. Okay, so now let me borrow Matt one last time. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Okay, so we're gonna keep the distance due to the COVID, okay? But I wanna show you when I will put it, why I do that, and, uh, and then I'm going to explain a little bit more and we're all gonna practice it. So Matty swings, okay? I did that under, I also did jet cross. But what happened, he was already in the momentum of running at me, or he felt on me, or he threw his body on me. So he's closing the distance. So if he closed the distance, the jet cross might be too weak because I cannot do this, this is not strong. If I bring, all my hips, I'm, create, I'm generating power. But if it's too close, what we are going to do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna teach you a knee, okay? So basically, if I'm doing the duck under and he throw his body at me, okay? Can do the jab cross, but then I can shoot my knee and I'm, I can push him away from me to show him that he doesn't, he doesn't wanna, he doesn't wanna do that, okay? So what we are gonna do, just stand for one second, we're gonna use the boxing pad that we discussed about in a second, okay? I'm gonna go to the side so you can see. So what we are gonna do, we always wanna kick with the leg that we have behind because this is how I'm generating power. I'm gonna shoot my hips up forward and I'm not gonna talk about other details but you can look at my hips and my, uh, at my uh, foot and see all the detail, details but this is what it, it looks like. Boom, again, boom, boom. See I'm like rubbing his shoulders or his head, boom. And I'm squeezing my, my anika so everybody, grab this, then we're gonna do a water break quickly, okay? So grab this, straight your hands, okay? And let's do one, keep going, two, nice and easy, three, good job everybody. Four, five, six, seven, okay, five seconds, keep going. We're gonna start for 10 seconds fast, okay? Keep going, nice job. Good job, done. All right, relax. We're not done yet. I want you just for one second, okay? Just take a sip of water, okay? And let's go back because we're gonna do some nice combination, everything I show you today and more, okay? So let's do this, just one second. Good, all right, it's okay. While you're catching your breath, put the paper in the center again. What we are going to do, get the stands around this paper. The reason why I wanted paper is because if you're gonna step on that, clearly you will see, you might even destroy the paper. So I want you to be very aware for this as an obstacle on the floor, because Krav Maga is also very, you know, distance and space and management and awareness, okay? So get the stands over the paper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what to do and you have to get ready, okay? So it's fast reaction, but keep a good form as much as you can, okay? Duck under, duck under. Jump cross, jump cross, jump cross. Duck under, jump cross. Again, duck under, jump cross, go. Me. Bring it back, don't step on the paper. Me. Back under knee. Nice job. Jab cross knee. Good, one more. Back under, jab cross knee. Good. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do, we have two more minutes, okay? Two more minutes. So what we're going to do now, we're going to complete the 10, 10, 10. 10 squats. 10 push-ups and 10 lunges, and then right away get the stands 
and get ready for combinations. I know it's very hard, but you know, let's get the blood flowing. Let's, let's do some good stuff today. Okay. I also know you're stuck at home and you want this work, work out a little bit. So let's do that. Okay. So you don't, if it's very hard for you, you can do it slow. You can do less. I'm just trying to challenge you. So it's depend on your, or also on you. Okay. So don't push it too much, but if you can, it's great. Okay. So let's start with 10 push-ups. Good job, everybody. Don't quit. You got it. Nice. 10 squats. As I mentioned before, Krav Maga, when we're in, the, in an uncomfortable situation in the street, we are tired. We have all this adrenaline kicks in. So this is what we're trying to simulate. This uncomfortable position. Let's switch to lunges. Okay. But still, we are able to protect ourselves and generate good power, make sure nobody is hurting us, okay? Good, all right. Keep the paper, we're done. We completed our mission today. So the ball is empty, awesome. Last thing for today, let's have this combination when we are tired and breathing a little bit, okay? Jump cross, duck under. Jump cross, duck under. Good. Duck under, jump cross. Good. Knee. Knee. Jump cross. Knee. Good. I know we're tired. Keep going. Good. Duck under. Knee. Duck under, knee. Okay. Now we're going to do it for three times. All the moves that we did. Starting slow. And then try to do it as fast as possible. That's the last thing for the, the, the Krav Maga, okay? Okay, breathe. Duck under, jab cross knee. Start slow. Let's go. One more time, faster. One more time, don't touch the paper. As fast as possible. And go. One more time like that, one more time. Stay focused, don't touch the paper. And go. Get the stand, protect your face. Don't forget your hands. Good, relax. Okay, everybody, rolling hands. Some kind of the bird workout. Circle your hands forward. Catch your breath. Good. Other side. Good job. I know you did a good job. This is not easy, but you know what? We need to sweat a little bit, especially when we're stuck at home all day. Relax, good. Good shoulder, relax. Okay, moving the paper. Let's take a sip of water and let's move on, okay? Okay. So guys, Matt is gonna join me. Matt, thank you very much for helping me. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to tell you a little bit about Stand Strong and about our courses. Matt is going to explain you, and we are going to stay here for questions. Feel free. I'm very laid back person. You can ask whatever you want. Very open. Um, so just about Stand Strong, as I as I as I mentioned before, our mission is to empower the next generation by self defense, which is which is you. Uh, our system is based on those principles that I show you. I want to teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, and not how to fight. I'm fully aware that some of the people are less athlete or less physical or smaller or don't have the experience or don't have this fitness. Even if you saw today, only by protecting your face and ask them to come down, you gain so much protection more than, than stand there and do nothing, okay? Um, you know, all those stuff, and obviously in the course, which Matt is gonna, gonna talk about, but we have more time to polish those techniques, to talk about more things, so it's actually practical for everyone. And also, even if you saw with the hands, with the stands, with the lunches, it's all based and built on your natural instincts. So I'm not doing anything too fancy 
that you know people are practicing for years and then you need to catch up in a minute. It's not gonna happen and I want you to have a good, good skills. So I'm building everything based on your instinct, your natural instinct. Another thing is it's all, it's all, uh, it's all effective even if you learn you know, a little bit or a short amount of time, you can learn so much. Even today, you know, Dakander, you know, Jeb Cross, you know, me. These are a lot of tools, obviously. We just get, gave you just a taste of our course, but this is the principle. So maybe it's gonna uh, explain you about the course because we can do many things with you. And by the way, I didn't mention, but it's all free. Thanks to Stand With Us and Stand Strong. We have every single day we have classes and Matt is going to explain about it. All right, guys, hopefully you had a great, uh, good workout. So our courses that Leo just mentioned, uh, running, we have courses every single day of the week. A whole variety of different courses from real young kids, six, seven years old, right through to adults. We have some women's only courses running next week. We have a whole bunch of different courses. We also, from next Tuesday starting, uh, we have an exclusive course with Stand With Us. So you guys watching now can log on. What you've got here is just a quick taste of what Leo does and we have some other specialist instructors as well. These guys are really the experts. They've been through it, they've lived it, they've uh, honed and perfected the skills, and now they're gonna teach them to you. The courses we run are four courses for each level. So you run a four courses. The one with Stand With Us, the exclusive one for you guys next week, is gonna be Tuesday, Thursday next week, Tuesday, Thursday, the week afterwards. So it runs over two weeks on a Thursday. I think it's 11 a.m. Central Time. All the details are being posted up, I believe, in some of the chats and some of the social media that you've probably already got and you certainly will get more afterwards. And those courses are really based on teaching you guys more of these fundamentals, but in in-depth and really honing and defining those skills. We have three different levels. So the level next week is level Aleph, gives you the basic skills. We then our level Bet, a bit more advanced. Level Gimel, our aim for level Gimel, if you get that far, we want you to be bulletproof in life. Whatever happens, whatever situations come your way, you have that calm, collective confidence that you can deal with anything that happens in life. That's, that's this guy, the pro level. I'm pretty level at it right now, but I want to work up to be the level Gimel. One more thing I want to say about our courses that is unique to anyone else that's doing them right now across the globe that we've seen. Not only do you follow a Krav Maga expert like Lior, we have additional instructors either in our office or the studios or watching remotely from their homes. And they're going to be providing you live, real-time feedback on your, your stance, your technique, your quality. So while you are following Lior now, you might get someone else watching saying, hey, protect your face, make sure you duck under, low jabs. They're watching you to give you the feedback. It's the closest thing that we can provide to being really in the room with us right now. And that's what we wanted is you guys, not just to learn the skills, but to be really, really confident that you've got the correct technique, the right quality. Uh, I also want to talk real quick about our social media. I know you stand with us, hopefully you're following. Um, we have Stand Strong, Facebook Stand Strong, Instagram Stand Strong, org. Follow us, like us tag us, we'd love you guys to take maybe a video or a short clip of some of the skills you just learned with Lior. Tag Stand With Us, tag Stand Strong. We can uh, repost them, get you guys out there on Instagram and Facebook, show you guys some of the stuff we're doing. Um, we want you to be on those courses. We want you guys to really have the best skills and eventually, hopefully one day when we're back in the real life, you're gonna be outside in your college campuses, outside in your high schools, middle schools, wherever you are. We wanna come to you guys and deliver these courses in person get the diplomas, get the wristbands, complete the courses, and continue your journey with us. Um, we're gonna hand back for a second, we're gonna stick around, but hand back for any questions, comments, we'd love to talk to you about some of our stories or any other information. And thank you very much, of course. Thank, thank you guys, good job today. All right, thank you to Lior and Matt. Uh, that was fantastic, I'm pumped now, and yeah. I think that those, uh, yeah, I think that those, uh, those courses, um, I'm really looking forward to them, and uh, again, encouraging everyone to, uh, to check them out and you can easily do that. Just go to standwithusconnect.com. You can find more information there or you can find it on the Stand Strong or Stand With Us Facebook pages. Um, we have a few questions for you, but before that, you should know that uh, we have an international crowd that's joined us tonight. Uh, you have had viewers joining you and learning Krav Maga uh, from across the world from Israel, obviously, but also from the United States and places in states such as Maine and New York, New Jersey, uh, in Canada, coming from Ottawa and Toronto, uh, from Salonika, Greece, and Romania as nice. well. Yeah, yes. Wait, we got a few more interesting ones. Okay. Arizona, I missed in the U.S. Uh, the U.S. states, uh, and also Texas. 
but you also had from Northern Ireland, Sweden, Holland, and wait for it, Jordan. So you had, oh, yes. Welcome out. You didn't mention right. the UK. <laughs> That's right, Northern Ireland. Yeah, I've got to rent my boys. <laughs> yeah, getting you some love there. <laughs> So actually, so why don't we take the question then from, uh, okay. from Northern Ireland. We'll start with this. Alex from, from Northern Ireland asking, when is a good age to start teaching children self-defense? Fantastic question. What was his name? Alex. Alex, fantastic questions. So the matter of fact is every single day, we have, every time we change the time, but normally, just so you know, 4 p.m. Central Time, class for kids, Okay, this is why I wanted to mention it. For kids, if they're, you know, especially now when they want to spend, stay active and, and spend energy, six and older. I add also younger students, but the fact is after 15 minutes, you know, they kind of like losing it behind the screen. In face-to-face, -face, it's a little bit easier, but I will say six plus, it's a great time to start. You know, it's also build their confidence and, you know, start to stay active, work a little bit about stretching, important things, you know, for, for young kids. So I, six, I will say six, highly recommend. I'll add to that as well. It's uh, a lot of the Krav Maga, where I think Leora is really specialist, it's the messaging that goes along with it. So, so Alex, I'm sure if, you, if you're probably looking for uh, maybe a younger sibling or child that you're talking about, it's about how we talk about. Today, we, we're expecting a slightly older crowd, so we're talking more about real self-defense, maybe some strikes. When we deliver the uh, classes for younger audiences, we're talking six-year-olds very often will bump and fall over. So when you fall over, how you can still protect yourself, how you can maybe avoid bumping, keeping your personal space. It's all about the messaging as well. But right. yeah, six years old is a great age to start. And then by the time you get to your teens, you're really ready and you've got all those skills uh, honed in and, and perfected. Awesome. So it sounds like train them early and train them often and uh, start building that, uh, that, that mindset and that uh, empowerment from a young age. Great. So I'm going to take you guys, actually, we're going to zoom out maybe a little bit uh, from talking about, you know, Krav Maga practice. Okay. But uh, Andy from New York wants to know which martial arts influenced Krav Maga? It's a great question. So you know what? I think the key here with Krav Maga, and this is what I said, I, I feel that today the gyms are missing this, uh, this point. But as I discussed in the beginning, originally, it's not a martial art, it's a system. So basically what the Krav Maga said is we're taking the most effective things for untrained people or not very untrained, not very experienced, and we're going to give them tools that will be as much as practical as possible. So I, I think that the founders of the Krav Maga, what they did, they started to pick from different places, um, like good skills, good moves, and they, and they get it together. Um, also, another thing is uh, like poking or, uh, you know, even biting, even, you know, kicking through the sensitive area, for instance, or hurting, you know, um, this, is, this is not common in any martial arts. Um, so this is pretty much unique to Krav Maga. So I think what they did is kind of like a good Israeli salad, you know, uh, of everything and they brought it, brought it on board. Fantastic. So it's really whatever works, they tossed it into that salad bowl and mixed it up. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. All right, moving on. Uh, we're going to a question from Sarah from Toronto, who uh -huh. wants to know, zooming back in maybe to some of the practical topics, uh, what are the best Krav Maga moves for women to use? Um, so many. Yeah, okay. so many. I will say, if I need to pick one, if I need to pick one, and this is one of my favorite, by the way, in the, in the courses we are addressing it a little bit, but if I need to pick the most important one is uh, besides stands and, 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 you know, the stands with protecting your face, I will say it's a front choke escape, Okay. Front choke, I, I cannot demonstrate now because, you know, the COVID, but we have videos that, that we're showing how to do that basically. But the reason why I'm telling it is because just, just imagine a scenario that you're in the elevator and somebody's trying to, you know, choke you. Or even the reason why, the main reason why I like to show it, because it works also if I'm on the floor. So if somebody is on me trying to force himself on me, I will know how to escape this choke. So I will be able to start to get my, you know, get this distance and, and push him away and disengage. 
So uh, I hope it answered the questions, but if I need to pick one, it's a front choke escape. That's one of my favorite. I'm trying to show it even with demos. I couldn't do it today because, you know, clearly the situation, but this is definitely one of uh, the most important. Like I think that every individual on this planet, especially women, has to know this escape. It's very, very basic. The key to it as well is forget the techniques of what you're doing. It's all about remaining, keeping your mind relaxed, you keeping in control, which sounds right. really strange when someone maybe has their hands wrapped around you, you don't feel much control. But if you have that ability just to, okay, I can deal with this and I know what to do, that's the basis of Krav Maga. Wherever the uh, situation is arising from, take that split second of, okay, I can deal with this and I one step at a time to get my way out and then get out and get home. Great. Uh, speaking about dealing with difficult situations and, you know, trying to breathe through them or work through them, our final question comes from Dara from Sweden, who wants to know what is the best way to keep fit and healthy while in lockdown? Okay, so my, my recommendation is to join Stan Strong classes, okay? <laughs> I'm still trying to say it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think it's, it's all about balance. So for instance, I noticed, you know, we all at home, we all fully aware, we know how, we never experienced it before, but now we all know how it feels like. So for instance, what I did is starting 6 p.m., I'm not touching in any snacks. So you know, in the, in the beginning, in the middle of the day, you're eating, you're doing this, even a fruit, even a vegetable, whatever, you know, a snack that you have, the chips, whatever it is. So 6 p.m. after, I'm not eating any snakes whatsoever, nothing, just, just my dinner and that's it. And also I do think that staying healthy, it's, it's very important to you know, stay active. So try to stand at home, maybe a little bit you know, stretching or, or just like squat and, and stuff like we did today. Like do, for instance, every day 20 push-ups. This is nothing, you know, we can do five in a different time and then if you feel comfortable with it, you can do more. So I think you have to be, you know, you have to stay insane during this situation. So try not to overeat, try to stay active, um, open the window, uh, breathe there a little bit, you know, try if you have a nice weather here in Chicago today, it's beautiful. So just go, you know, for five minutes rest or something, just observe some sun. And, uh, and remember it's temporarily, I know it's sometimes, you know, we tend to exaggerate, but we are going back to, uh, normal after all this situation is over hopefully sooner than later but just you know keep it keep it easy you know you know what works for you so everyone watching right now has a different base level you might be super top athlete you might be never done stuff in 20 years and you're trying to work back up to some sort of fitness so if you know where your base is my recommendation is always then try and push yourself just one percent more each day to do something different. So if so far during lockdown you did nothing and you're thinking, oh man, I wasted a month and I'm putting on a few extra pounds and whatever, maybe start those lunges that you all showed you. Just, just those 5, 10 or those push-ups, 5, 10, very achievable goals. And then try and add one or two more each day. Okay, by next week I want to go uh, try and do 10. Week after is maybe I want to do 15. You'll see as the weeks go past, suddenly, wow, I could do 30, 30 push-ups, 30 sit-ups, 30 whatever crunches. Um, and what I love to do is try and look around you. What have I got I can use? I can't go to the gym right now. I haven't got my barbells and dumbbells and ropes and all, all the bars. What have I got? A chair, a noodle, like we all did. Just a jump on the floor and I'm just doing quick steps, quick steps. Two minutes of quick steps like that, wow, you're going to be burning. And then you next day, three minutes. Next day, four minutes. Suddenly you're going to be up there and feeling much better about yourself. Right. And, and using this as a productive time. Every challenge that comes your way, how can I make it work for me and be a better situation in my wider, bigger picture? Sounds like great advice. And I'm yeah. definitely going to start implementing a lot of it in. I'm, I'm happy that I'm, you know, you can only see me from, from this level yeah. up. So you don't know but what my I lockdown say I do it. I just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for real. Uh, and uh, remember everyone that's watching that uh, Lior and Matt have more tips from you. Stand Strong has a full course that you can sign up yeah, for uh, on the Stand Strong. More information on the Stand Strong uh, Facebook page or on the Stand With Us Facebook page or at standwithusconnect.com. Again, Lior and Matt and all of the Stand Strong team, thank you guys so much for thank this you. great live show here at Stand With Us Connect. Uh, and thank you to all of our viewers. Thank you all for supporting our mission to 
stand up, or should I say stand strong for Israel and fight anti-Semitism all around the world. Uh, before we wrap up, I want to tell everyone again, remind you, uh, if you love the work of Stand With Us, consider supporting our mission and pushing us even further. As Matt and Lior were saying, it's the little things. So even the smallest contribution, the smallest, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with in terms of support uh, goes a very long way. And uh, you can be a part of, of our mission and pushing us forward at standwithus.com slash donate. Additionally, if you enjoyed this session, uh, and you want to learn more. So again, first of all, look for those, the Stand Strong uh, free courses that are coming uh, very, very soon. Uh, and in, in addition, go to www.standwithusconnect.com to check out our full schedule of live shows that are coming up. We have a great uh, lineup that's coming up very, very soon. And you're not gonna wanna miss this. Our next webinar is coming up on Monday, May 11th. It's entitled An Arab Defender of Israel, uh, and it is a conversation with Yosef Haddad. Uh, Yosef Haddad, as an Israeli Arab, he is a man on a mission. He has traveled around the world to bring people's understanding of Israel closer to the reality of his own experience. Haddad is passionate about creating positive change in his community, and his personal experiences led him to build the organization Beyachad Arevim Zelaze, or in English, Together We Vouch for Each Other, which is an organization determined to connect the Arab sector to Israeli society. More That's coming to you on this coming Monday, Monday, May 11th, our full schedule again at standwithusconnect.com. Take a look because we are determined if you can't come to Israel, we are going to bring Israel to you. I'm Yoni, coming to you live from Israel for Stand With Us Connect. Shalom, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys.